Hello, hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Let's dive in to another reading for you guys. If you're new here, I am an intuitive reader, so I'm going to follow the flow and energy of the cards. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. There's the nine of pentacles. Um, this is a pre-shuffle. I haven't knocked on the cards yet, but this is a very independent um, energy here. Like this could be for the singles. We're, we're going to see when the energy comes out. This is Virgo energy. Um, this is empowerment here. Female, male, whichever way you want to slice the cake. We don't discriminate here. Um, but there's an element of independence and growth coming for you on a personal level. Uh, we're going to see in which aspect. Let me just, uh, let's get into it. Uh, that is also, the Nine of Pentacles is also a card of abundance as well. So let's see how that plays in here for Capricorn. Please show me clear, accurate messages for Capricorn. What the energy is surrounding Capricorn at this time, please stir it. Capricorn. Bottom of the deck, Six of Cups. Ooh, Knight of Cups. Okay, so this is definitely a singles reading. Okay, because that Nine of Pentacles came out, we're looking at love, we're looking at relationships. We have three major arcana. We have the Tower. We have the temperance and we have the world. This is a big reading for you singles. Um, also crowning at the bottom of the deck, we have the six of cups. We also have the knight of cups as well. This is a very significant reading. This is for the singles. Um, that nine of pentacles told me so. <sighs> Capricorn. Capricorn singles. <laughs> All right. Let's get into this. There is a love offer for you. It is a genuine love offer. It is from someone who wants to actually be in a relationship with you. This person is either a friend or this is a past lover returning. Okay. Some of you don't want the past. That's okay. For others of you, it's going to be, it looks like a friend or someone or someone who feels like a friend. You may meet someone possibly on a trip. Definitely out of nowhere. Okay. Um, or you may run into an old love um, on a trip while you're traveling. It doesn't have to be far. But it could be anywhere that you are mobile and moving. Um, you could run into an old love or a brand new person or even a friend, okay? But whoever this person is, there is a sense of warmth that overwhelms you, okay? And feeling or an energy of warmth that overwhelms you as soon as you run into this person, because um, you're going to run into them in person, okay? This isn't going to be a phone call. It's not going to be a text. It's some You're going to run into this person face-to-face, Okay, face to face, you're going to be seeing this person. And when you guys reconnect, it's going to feel very, for, like, very, like, familiar. Okay, I get, I'm getting like an overwhelming, almost nervous energy, too. I feel like whoever you're running into is going to make you a little bit nervous. You're going to be kind of questioning, oh, do I look okay? Is my hair done for women? And then even men, like, am I, do I look all right? Do I smell all right? That kind of energy. Like, I just feel like you're going to be feeling a little bit nervous because. If this is a past person, there is definitely unfinished business between the two of you. If this is a friend, this energy could have been lingering between the two of you for a while where the two of you are both very, very interested in each other, but it hasn't really come to fruition. But uh, now you run into each other because I think there was some disconnection, like maybe um, you guys have been friends, but you guys have been long distance friends for a while, but you guys have also had a crush on each other, that type of thing. And then you guys run in, into each other face to face and then things just start blossoming. It's almost like the new beginning of a chapter here. Temperance with divine timing. There was an element of patience involved for you, Capricorn. Um, I don't know in which way, maybe you had to be patient and pray that this person would come back. <clears throat> Maybe you had to be patient and pray 
to meet someone that you could connect easily with if it, this is a brand new person. And some of you, you guys have just been waiting for this friend to see you the way you see them. But little did you know, they've seen you that way the whole time. But now it's just the right timing for it. Okay. So we do have Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy, and we have Pisces, strong Scorpio. This could be a Scorpio. I don't know who this person is, but they're such a gentle, easy, fun, playful energy between the two of you. I feel like the two of you are always laughing and giggling when you're together. And I feel like... Um, this person makes you feel comfortable. This person makes you feel like they're at home, like you're at home. This person I feel like is a romantic. Maybe if they're not, maybe they don't show up by giving you flowers, but there's other little things that they do for you that show romance, right? Maybe they write you like a little poem or something along those lines. Um, but the energy just feels very familiar. I'm like getting this image of like a soft touch. I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing for you. You can let me know in the comments down below. But this person, the way they used to touch you was like very gently, like very soft, like or or their embrace is like very, very warm. There's something very, very warm about this energy that is surrounding you. Um, and I definitely think you're going to run into this person while you're out and about um, traveling and such. The tower is here also. Maybe this person goes to your church. I don't know why I'm saying that. I think I'm just looking at like the cathedral style image here, but maybe this person goes to your church. If you're not a church goer or religious, then I mean, that's not necessarily a message for you, but I want to get out some more energy here. So this is like really out of nowhere. It's very, very abrupt. Um, you don't see it coming. Like I said, this is not a text. This is not a phone call. This person, you literally run into them on the street. So let me just say this to you, Capricorn. <laughs> Please ensure that you are looking cute, all right? Or looking good when you're walking around for the fellas. Um, let's see here. The Capricorn. Ooh, Three of Cups. Yeah. So this could even like that. I mean, Three of Cups is social gathering. It's reunion. There's the moon. So you could even go to a party that you're invited to and you have no idea that this person's going to be there and they're there. Okay. So let's, let's continue here. The moon. You did not know that this person was harboring emotions for you. The King of Wands. Oh, there's strong sexual chemistry between the two of you. Um, very magnetic. Very, very magnetic. Show me the Knight of Water. Well, that just flipped in my hand. It's the Ace of Cups. Look at this. There's a love offer. There's love offer. Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Swords. It's going to come in quick. It's going to come in fast. This person, I, I feel like you are not leaving the party without this person leaving with you. <laughs> they are leaving with you. I feel like it's going to move really quickly. There's you guys are just way too comfortable with each other for it not to move quickly. This is really something. Um, show me the six of cups. Whoop. Oh, just drop the card. The 10 of swords. Yes. Okay. So I definitely feel like this for a lot of you, this is going to be a path. The, this is going to be a past uh, connection, five of swords. I mean, five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, I do feel like this definitely was a past relationship because I wanted to see who this person was, six of, pen, uh, six of cups here. Because I do feel like this is a reunion for a lot of you. For others of you, this could have been a past life lover, so that could be the reunion. Of course, you're not going to remember the previous ending. But I feel like there was an ending, for a lot of you, there was an ending between you and this person and there was a lot of space and time between the two of you as well and when you run back into each other it feels very very familiar there's still an attachment here between the two of you that attachment never died um a lot of cards just fell out look there's the tower six of cups ten of pentacles temperance and two of pentacles interesting i'm not going to take all those cards because they just kind of fell but i do want to clarify that um 
Ten of Swords here. So something had ended between the two of you. It was a very it was a very painful ending for those of you who this is resonating for. If this is a past life lover, you're not going to know this aspect of your connection. But if you're wondering why the energy feels so warm and inviting and comfortable, it's because you already know each other. Maybe not in this life, but you did in the past. Show me the show me the Ten of Swords for Capricorn. Ooh, there it is. The Chariot. It seems like the reason why it ended previously, it was because you guys were going in two different directions in the same chariot. And the horses, one wanted to go one way and the other wanted to go the other way. It seems like, and it seems like the two of you are very headstrong. There was a lot of passion between the two of you, but the two of you, I don't know, and the devil, perhaps maybe you guys were drinking a little too much, doing a little too much drugs, spending a little too much money. Maybe one didn't want to spend money, the other one did. It, like, there's just coming some kind of vice here uh, between the two of you. And it, it caused a divide because one wanted to go one way, the other wanted to go the other way. So you can let me know how that resonates in the comments. Um, but it seems like one or the other was consumed with some kind of negative aspect of themselves and that caused them to end. But the thing is, is that you guys didn't actually have, like there was no issue with the love. It was like external things that were causing the disconnect and the divide. Well, not external. I mean, if it was a vice, well, I guess, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's, I guess it's kind of external and it could be internal, but I don't think there was anything wrong with it. I did the love dynamic between the two of you is what I'm trying to say. Interesting. Show me more about this person. Oh, there's like five cards here. Um, show me more about this person for Capricorn. Ooh. Queen of Pentacles and the Justice. This could be a Libra or this could be a Capricorn. This person is very, this person is very nurturing. I almost feel like it's the polar opposite of the two of you. Um, but I'm going to get, I'm going to get to that in a second, but it's, it seems like it feels like this person really cares about you, but at the same time, this person has a little bit of pride and ego, and they're very much about fairness. So, or they're very structured with justice, if that makes sense. Like, not in a formal way, not like police or the court system, but like if you do this person wrong, you will get your justice, whatever that means to that person. You know, like maybe they, maybe if, if you cheated on. Oh, Cards are just flying, like there's a string and the Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. I feel like this person never stopped longing for you. I feel like this person felt like, I don't know if they disconnected the connection. I think for some of you that this person did disconnect the connection. I think for a lot of you, it was that way. Um, this person had to give you some kind of justice. Maybe you had done something wrong. Um, for others of you, it could be the other way, but I feel like for a lot of you, you had done something wrong and this person had to bring the justice hammer down on you and say, listen, I'm not accepting this. I'm cutting ties. And maybe that's why there was that five of pentacles earlier where there was a disconnect. Um, after the two of you had split, it was a very painful splitting. I see that. But this person never stopped longing for you. Um, Queen of Cups, they really had to find the strength within to <clears throat> stay away from you because they still always had those feelings for you. They were just kind of being cold hearted. Um, they were just being cold hearted. Okay, so that's that's more of a message for the ones who are having a past lover come back in this life, <laughs> uh, a recent um, or a, a person that 
they had broken up with in the past. For the singles, though, this was a past life lover, and same story applies. It's just that you're not going to be aware of it in the same way. So show me the energy for the singles here. What's the energy for the singles? Yeah, temperance. This is divine timing for the singles. This is this feels like someone that you're going to be with. This is the three of, of wands. I feel like this is a connection that you have the potential to be with this person for quite some time. Um, I feel like this is going to be a, a very fun new adventure with this person for you. I think that you're going to really, really like this person and enjoy their company. Um, and again, I feel like there's going to be a lot of fun uh, there's been some wand cards out here. I think there's going to be a lot of fun between the two of you, whether it's the friend that you're connecting with, or if this is a new person who just has that fun, playful, comfortable, uh, energy. So you can let me know which way it goes, but it looks very, very, very positive. And for the ones who are reconnecting with an old lover, that love never died. It never died. It never, ever, ever, ever died. And I think that person is coming back in. I think this person is finally going to say that they've either changed or that they forgive you for something that you did and they want to start again. Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups. Okay. <sighs> Capricorns, I think I'm going to pull one more card for you and I think it's going to be a Moonology. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, guys. Um, definitely support the channel. I'm giving out some free readings here. So just hit the like. It doesn't take much. And I am open for personal readings. If you're interested, my Instagram and my email is down below. You can message me on either. And we can do a personal reading for you based off of your situation and circumstances. And yeah. Okay. Let's get one last card for Capricorn, please, Spirit. For Capricorn. It's time to take action. This is New Moon and Aries. Yeah, I feel like someone's going to be taking action towards you. You could be taking action towards someone. I mean, you could be the one taking the action. Um, and then step out of your comfort zone. Oops. Sorry. Ugh. And believe in the impossible. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it there, Capricorn. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'm wishing you all the best in your romantic future. Love and light.